The fifth course is GE2201, Identity and Citizenship in a Globalized World, by Dr. Graham Lane from the Department of Asian and International Studies. Uh, thanks, Geraldine. Uh, good afternoon. Um, this course reflects some of the themes and uh, topics that we deal with in the Department of Asian and International Studies. Um, this, uh, I, I like this, this sort of background for PowerPoint because it shows us the Temple of Heaven and the moon, the moon above it, and there's a certain concept of citizenship and of the relation between citizen state and the natural world uh, in this, in this uh, uh, background. Um, uh, as for the moon, though, we've been to the moon, and we've come back, and having been to the moon and looked back on the Earth, uh, it's changed uh, everything, or at least changed our sense of who we are and our relationships with each other. Uh, and now with the magic of uh, um, satellites and satellite photographs and um, Google Earth, we can look back on the world and see it in a way that we've never really seen it before uh, until very recently. Uh, we can see uh, the cities growing, we can see the forest shrinking, we can even see uh, changes in sea level. Uh, can be measured from space, and we can relate that to our own activities as humans on this planet. And that makes a big difference. It makes a difference for us as citizens, uh, as citizens perhaps of the world, if you wish. Uh, here we are in Asia, and uh, um, Asia uh, is about half the population of the planet, and uh, we're a part of this very dynamic region. Um, if you look at it this way, of course, Google Earth, we can draw the lines on the map to show where the countries are, or we can omit them. And um, it, it doesn't really look like this at all. This is a political map that shows, um, that shows uh, different colors for different countries. But that's not the way the world really looks, and it's, it's um, a bit misleading, in fact. Well, here we are in Hong Kong, and uh, we uh, have a very interesting um, position in the world. We're members, and we're part of China. Um, but as you know, uh, identity in Hong Kong is a somewhat dynamic and fluid concept. There are many conceptions here. It's a little bit conflicted. Um, and of course, here's the flag of the country of which um, Hong Kong is a part. Um, has the big star on the four little stars. By the way, do you know what the little stars represent? How many know what the small stars represent on this flag? I see some.